As Texas works through the reopening phases after a statewide lockdown, health officials are saying eh, not so fast. Social distancing should still be a top priority. We know it can be tough, especially during big events happening right now, like high school graduations. 12 News reporter Victoria DeLeon is live tonight with how things went for P&G. Well, there was no limit on the number of people who could attend as long as you had filled out a form and had it with you at the entrance. So it was definitely a packed stadium tonight. And while these milestones are worth celebrating, health officials say now is not the time to forget about the spread of COVID-19. With cancellations of major events becoming the norm, PNG seniors Austin, Josh and Kristen were just glad that graduation got the green light. It's like we finally actually get to walk across that stage, get our diploma, and just complete our last year of high school. Like most seniors around the country, the last few months prevented the class of 2020 from closing this final chapter with the traditional experiences. Sitting at home just waiting, not knowing what's going to happen was pretty rough. It sucked a little bit because I wasn't going to get to finish out my welding and get my certifications, but it is what it is. But tonight, at the turn of a tassel, they're heading out for the real world, which unfortunately includes a global pandemic. One that health officials say is still spreading at an alarming rate. You know, even as we start relaxing more and more of our physical distancing measures, you know, the cases are speaking for themselves, and I think we still need to be worried about what we saw this week. Coronavirus cases across Texas are starting to rise just weeks after Governor Abbott's plan to reopen the state. We're even seeing record high hospitalizations. Most large gatherings like graduations include lots of high fives and hugs, making social distancing pretty tough. But Dr. John Carlo with the statewide coronavirus task force says those extra precautions need to be taken seriously. But despite the challenges, Josh says he wouldn't trade this year for anything. I think that this year has put us through so much that I would probably keep this year and graduate in 2020 just because it made us stronger and show that we can get through whatever. Now, these seniors definitely deserve to celebrate their accomplishments tonight. But again, taking those extra precautions seriously could make a difference in the number of cases we see in the next few weeks. In Port Natchez, I'm Victoria DeLeon, 12 News.